Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Blue Demon Exchange, your chance to get caught up on the latest about DePaul basketball. I'm Zach Saban, the voice of the Blue Demons, pleased to be joined again by the head coach of DePaul basketball, Dave Leto. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great, Zach. How about yourself? Fantastic. Can't wait for the season, especially in regard to catapulting off of what happened last year, where you were able to go out and knock off Xavier in the opening round of the Big East tournament before things shut down. But it gives you an idea of the kind of talent that you have on your roster. And when we look ahead to the 2020-2021 season, who's back and what excites you about the core returning? Well, you know, based on last year and what had happened, the highs and lows, and particularly, as you mentioned, in the Big East tournament, we'd like to feel that, you know, part of that understanding of a core group and, and what they had to go through, both good and bad, can carry us into, into next season. And so, you know, you look at our roster and, and some of the guys that are returning, uh, you want to have some experience. I think we have that, you know, starting with uh, Jalen Butts, who is a four-year guy for us and started, you know, a lot of games, if not all games last year, last year, and is a big part of understanding what we're trying to do and can help and grow and teach the younger guys. Uh, Charlie Moore comes to mind because he's, you know, a very, very good player. He uh, led the league in assists last year, was eighth in the league in scoring, so he had a major impact in his first year with us, uh, as did Romeo Weems and all a Big East freshman guy who uh, will, is poised to have a breakout season, a very mature young guy. And so you talk about those three guys, Darius Hall comes to mind, who again had to get his feet wet after sitting out as a transfer from the University of Arkansas. And then our young guys, you know, Nick Agenda and Oscar Lopez, who really, I thought, grew along with Romeo, uh, how they really gained confidence in themselves and what we were trying to do. So that core group coming back and understanding, you know, what they had to learn uh, through the highs of the season and the lows will present us with an opportunity to have, you know, that kind of chemistry that we so desperately need and want. All right, let's break it down a little bit more. In, in Charlie Moore, we'll start with the point guard because the lead guard is so important to making the whole thing go. You know, people forget that it had been a while since Charlie played a full season of highly competitive basketball. How do you think he did and how much does going through last season help him coming into this year. He started off with a bang, uh, really did well for us, particularly on our non-league uh, portion of, of our schedule. Uh, and then I thought that uh, combination of that newness a little bit, but especially, you know, he had the ball in his hands a really, you know, lot. Uh, and, and we li relied on him for a lot. And I thought it wore him down. He played heavy minutes because of injury. Uh, and I thought that it kind of took away from his productivity that he had had earlier in the season. Uh, so it's my hope that we can kind of give him a little bit of a break uh, from that standpoint while still requiring him to play at a high level. And I think he's poised and ready. He's a very mature and understanding young man. And I think he'll be ready for that challenge. There were times last season when we saw the electricity that Romeo Weems can provide. How do you get more of that over the course of his sophomore season? Well, I'm really confident in, in he as a, a player because I'm confident in him, him as a person. Uh, he's got a very high level of maturity. Uh, I think it showed on the court by his ability to, from day one to be a really good, our best defender, and take on you know all the best players that were on our roster. Uh, understand coaching, understand the nuances of getting better, and then be patient through the things that a freshman has to learn. And, and so uh, it's my understanding because of all those reasons that he's ready for a breakout season. I, I think one of the things that really impressed people about DePaul last season was the play in the interior. Jalen Butts comes back. You mentioned Nick Ongendu, who's got some big shoes to fill, but what we've seen under your leadership at DePaul, the big men continue to improve dramatically season after season. What's been the key to that? Well, you know, uh, we put a lot of time and effort and conversation into development. You know, I think uh, my staff does a tremendous job in, in getting guys better. Uh, not just in the two or three hours that we have for practice every day, but you know, before practice, after practice, off season, uh, in the film room, emotionally, especially to kind of have them understand the process that they have to go through to get you know them from from this level to to that level. And you know, last season uh, it was Paul Reed who made a major uh, jump in, in his development, and so. Uh, as you see, the potential some of the big guys have, and JV displayed it you know, early on in his career and, and uh, you know, did a lot for us 
as a big guy last year and Nick being the, the guy that's next up, I think he comes to us with a tremendous defensive advantage. He's a great timing shot blocker. I uh, can really run the floor. He's got really good hands. And as he grows emotionally, his offense will grow with it. And uh, and want to make sure that you know, with that development for all of our guys, particularly as you mentioned, Zach, with our big guys, uh, that they become a very integral part of our lineup. You mentioned some of the key ingredients to this upcoming season. What excites you about this upcoming year when you include the core that you just mentioned? Well, you know, I think you know, with that core, you, we talked about it earlier and understanding that there's some parts to winning uh, that, that you know, the, the naked eye doesn't see. You know, what happens every day uh, when they're together, what happens in the locker room, what happens through challenges and things that we have to go through uh, and persevere from. So I think what we went through last year, both positively and negatively, really adds to that and understanding that we don't have to repeat all those messages that we talked about in times gone by. And then with the addition of some new people to take care of some of the things that we had mentioned earlier and, and structurally that I wanted to get better at, you know, the combination of those two things give us kind of potential, uh, especially with our age, to, to make a major move forward. And there's more to add to the mix. In our next episode of Blue Demon Exchange, we'll find out the newcomers coming to DePaul. Dave, thank you so much for spending time with us. Look forward to it, Zach. Always a pleasure being with you. Stay safe. Until next time, please stay safe, be well, and take care of the Paul.